Welcome to Browning's Research and Development Department. It may look very much like the beginning of a nice day's shooting, but don't be fooled. This is serious stuff. Under the microscope is the new Browning 725, the new Browning clothing range, and a £45,000 B25 from Browning's Custom Shop in Belgium. To make sure the guns and the clothing get a good workout, we're at a game day on the outskirts of Paris. It's mostly partridge, but there will be the chance of pheasants, duck and grieve too. That's the song thrush to you and me, which is legal to shoot here and delicious to eat. At the first drive, the Belgian guns line up for the French shoot with the chance of some very British weather. An interesting combination. So what makes a traditional French shoot apart from a smart hat? L'endroit c'est déjà le biotope, 700 hectares de plaine euh, aménagés en bande de maïs euh, et de la moutarde euh, alternée, donc qui fait que on peut chasser la perdrix grise et la perdrix rouge euh, du mois de, de septembre au mois de novembre, fin, fin novembre. Euh, donc on peut faire des battues, on fait des battues, on chasse à peu près trois. Quatre fois en battu par semaine, euh, ce qui nous permet de pouvoir, euh, sur ces 700 hectares de plaine, euh, chasser euh, ces deux espèces. The birds are driven through the crops from a mile or so away. By the time the partridges reach us, they are travelling at a fair old pace and a decent height. We're next to William. His R&D responsibility is clothing, and it's not just about how it looks. All the products are designed by shooters. So we have a team internally, we are all uh, hunters and, and shooters in Browning. So we designed the, the product uh, in-house, in uh, using our experience on the field, and we test them uh, extensively. So yes, we do. Uh, it's not uh, designer. Of course, designer uh, have their word on, the, on say, oh, things could be look nice but uh, the all the technical features are designed by uh, shooters. One piece of design he really likes is the integrated recoil pads for those big bag days. We use these gel pads uh, to reduce the recoil. They are just there. They, they are very uh, uh, fit and, uh, and slim, so uh, it doesn't affect uh, the way you aim at the, the, the birds. But when this day we see a lot of shoots, it's uh, perfect. Also, the look here is a little bit nice with, a bit, uh, with the quilt and the very large pockets. Uh, it's a perfect jacket and we have also a vest that goes with it, very nice as well. So we'll try it on today and uh, hope to uh, have a good day with it. At the end of the drive, the birds are laid out for the guns to admire and appreciate. We're expecting a bag in excess of 200 today, so it's a good start with some fast shooting. We move further up the field for the second drive and we hear the distant calls of the beaters in what seems to be the next province. We now share a peg with Martin Bouquet. He is doing invaluable work assessing the balance of the new B725 Hunter Grade 5. This gun is an addition to the two 725 models already on offer. It will not be available until the new year, so start saving that Christmas cash for this very smart gun. We had a, a Sporter one, a Hunter one. And we had to, uh, to enlarge our range uh, with a, a high level, a uh, grade 5 one. And then we will uh, also uh, uh, present the, the light version uh, of the B725 uh, to have a, a, a bigger range. On the engraver you have uh, a super engraver, uh, a duck, duck models on one side, and you have uh, pheasants on, on the other side. And then the stock. You have a great five uh, stock model, so uh, a really uh, fine, fine stock, fine wood that you uh, have on this model. In the meantime, Martin needs to put the Hunter G5 through its paces, plus his Winchester cartridges. He is shooting well. Voila, a left and right, or a double, which sounds cool. It's another good drive, and there is lots of shooting. This is like a British driven shoot, but the French character of the day is unmistakable. We now head back to the house and drop down to the next drive. First, the guns walk through the maze before preparing for drive three. This time we join Lionel. He is in charge of the custom shop in the factory in Liège, and it's a fascinating place, resonating to the sound of the engravers, and with shelves and shelves of hand-selected wood ready to be brought to life. If you're watching this on YouTube, click on the link to see our film about it. 
The B25 Lionel is shooting with today would cost up to £45,000 and it's one of a pair. But why spend so much money on a gun? You can go and do uh, London to Brighton in a, in a Vauxhall and you can drive uh, London to Brighton in a Porsche or on uh, Aston Martin. It's just something different, so it's, it's a luxurious handmade overhander shotgun. It takes about two years and hundreds of man hours to produce a piece of art that shoots straight. And it's Lionel's job to make sure each customer gets exactly what he or she wants. My goal is to make the perfect gun for, for the customer. And uh, I think we make a uh, few people very happy, so uh, job's done. The French-speaking Labradors do their job and once again the bag is presented to the guns. We now adjourn to the house for food and a little wine, which is much appreciated by the folk here. Talk around the table is about the escalating price of birds. No change there then. After lunch, the drives continue to deliver some fantastic sport. Again, Martin finds the partridges and not many get past his right side. The weather was not there, but uh, the partridges were there, really. And I got uh, not a doublé, but uh, it's for the next, next one. Some grey partridges are shot on this drive and a few song thrushes. First, you roast them, then flambe them. With one drive to go, Jean-Christophe and his team have delivered some great sport. So, does that explain why he's wearing what looks like a hat he's stolen off Postman Pat? Or should that be Facteur Patrice? La, la casquette d'un garde particulier français, quoi, un garde de chasse particulier. Voilà, tout simplement, il a pas de... Il a juste euh, ce petit corps de chasse qui fait que, voilà, c'est... Euh, qui rappelle la France, Qui rappelle, euh, oui, aussi, et le, la loi, c'était l'emblème de la loi chez les, chez les gardes de chasse. Quoi. William may be about six foot three, but even he can't see the partridges coming across the top of the maize crop on the last drive. Quick reactions are needed here unless the birds come down the line. William makes it look easy. This French shoot has been the same but different. All over Europe, driven game styles have their own identities. The Browning guys have shot well here today and are pleased with how their guns and gear perform in all conditions. All that's left is another tradition, the laying out of the birds. The bag is 220 and it must take a certain mathematical brain to be able to create such symmetry. It looks both impressive and respectful.